Okay, so the cake is done. It cooled. I went ahead and used the back end of a wooden spoon. I punched holes in there so it could breathe. And I'm going to pour the sweetened condensed milk over the cake and let it soak up into the holes and make it nice and gooey and yummy. Mmm. Oh my. So I'm going to pour two of those on there. And let those soak in and I'm gonna make a suggestion to use a larger pan because if you're doing this like me you're probably Italian and we like a lot of food and a lot of cannoli so as you can see the lip on the pan is pretty low so by the time I got all of this cannoli in here I'm using a new pan this time by the time I get all of this cannoli fitting on top it's gonna be kind of a thin layer so I would use a deeper rim pan so you get more in there. So while that's soaking through, I'm going to come over to the mixer. And I've got my mixer. And I've got my two pounds. I've got a pound of uh, pound of ricotta and a pound of marzipan. The one zest of one orange, uh, shredded orange. And I just threw a handful of my little tiny chocolate chips in there. And we'll put it in the mixer. And a lot of people do this by hand, and since I've got a bad hand, it don't work so well. So we'll let that start mixing through a little bit at a time, and then I'm going to add the uh, quarter cup of blackberry brandy and the quarter cup of frangelica. So we'll just mix that in nice and slow, and let it get not too runny, and then I'm going to have to pull that beater out of there obviously or kick up the speed a little bit and shoot it all over the kitchen that consistency is looking pretty good there we go and we pour the rest of the blackberry brandy and frangelica in and I'm gonna throw another little scoop of chocolate chips in there just because I don't think I've ever heard anybody say no I couldn't possibly have more chocolate chips and we're gonna kind of crown the the cake with chocolate chips and powdered sugar when we're done that's the way you decorate it out so we'll let that mix for a little bit and then we're gonna turn the whole thing with the spatula, make sure everything's good and blended, and then we'll go ahead and finish the, making sure the cake is soaked up all of the, the condensed milk, chill it, and then put the topping on. So we'll be right back. So we went ahead and folded the bottom over, made sure everything was from the bottom of the blender and it's mixing very nicely and I like mine nice and fluffy a lot of people like it real dense but I like it nice and fluffy and light so I'll go ahead and blend it a little bit more and now's the time to kind of season it to taste so you might need to add a little bit more vanilla I put a couple drops of almond extract in there too that goes along nicely and brings the frangelica for a long way and season it to taste get it to the sweetness that you like it dip your finger in there make sure it's where you like and keep it going. So cold cake out of the fridge, spread the cannoli filling on top and spread it around evenly. You can see that this is over the edge here and that's because we like a lot of cannoli filling. Anyway, uh, again, I would go with a deeper pan in the future. I will use a taller pan. I'll sprinkle a bunch of little mini dark chocolate chips on top of it and then sift it in some white powdered sugar. So delicioso. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know.